Let's go, let's go, man. Let's get into it. So this this is kind of a part two of why Monday Night Football sucks. And maybe this is another part of why ESPN sucks. Okay. So as you guys know tonight, uh, Buccaneers and Ravens, which is a you know, decent matchup, even though the Ravens could blow out the Bucs. It could be either a close game or it could be a blowout going the Ravens' way. I don't see the Bucs. Uh, the only way I can see the Bucs winning is in a close game. There's no way in hell blowing out the Ravens. With that defense. Uh, but once again, it's John Harbaugh. But there's no way the Bucks are blowing out the Ravens or the Ravens blowing out the Bucks. It is what it is. But decent matchup. Decent matchup. But, but, stop with the head to head. ESPN, bro. You suck so bad. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. So we, we get, uh, we get the Ravens and the Bucks. Good matchup, decent matchup. Now, almost an hour later, we get the Chargers and the Cardinals. I don't even think Charger or Chargers or Cardinals fans wants to watch this game. No one wants to watch this game, bro. Why? And not only that, bro. You have Eli Manning and Peyton Manning calling the Charger and uh, calling the Charger and uh, Cardinals game. And we have to, anybody with regular cable who doesn't have ESPN because I don't want to give a dime to ESPN because they're a bunch of Disney queers. I don't want to give a dime to you. I piss all over you. Screw Disney and screw ESPN. But not only that, you have the best cast out of both of them. No one wants to listen to Troy Aikman or Joe Buck. Joe Buck is horrible. I don't know why this guy has a job. He should have got fired when Randy Moss mooned the crowd in Green Bay. He said, that's a disgusting act by Randy Moss. Joe Buck, you're disgusting to listen to. You're disgusting to look at. That's why Fox fired you. And Troy Aikman just has CTE. He doesn't even remember what he's going to do. He's probably not even going to remember what he ate for dinner today. Yet, we have to listen. Well, I don't listen. I don't listen to the commentary anymore. But for the average Joe out there, they have to listen and actually feel like they're having ears. They're fucking not uh, ears. Stab with knives. And, and then once again, for all the people who are playing for ESPN Plus, they get to watch the Chargers and the Cardinals. Now, granted, every game that we look at, uh, that's Thursday night, Monday night, we look at it and be like, oh, that's a boring game. But this could this could turn out to be a good game. You never know. Like this could be the complete opposite. The Bucks and Ravens game could be horrible. And the Chargers and Cardinals game might be good. Either which way, why do we have double header Monday night football for what? You know, and I should make a video about this, but I'm going to just explore on this right now. Sometimes for every, for all the people who, quote, love football, for all the people who are football heads, for people like, oh, I love football, this, that, and the third, I love football. I want more football. Look, look where we're at now. We have... Monday night, Thursday night, Friday night, playoff Saturday night, and Sunday night. Now, granted, I'm not going to count Saturday because that is playoff, so that's the exception. But we have four days a week of football. First of all, just on a human level, that's BS. Think about the players. And I know people are going to be like, oh, well, they're making millions. First of all, they're not making millions. After tax and all the government takes out their big checks, they're not making – well, they're making a lot, yes, but they're not – they're not making enough to sustain their lifestyle throughout their whole life. That's number one. And number two, sometimes less is more. You feel me? Sometimes less is more. Like, prime example, the best sports podcast, uh, which is uh, the Unfiltered Sports Podcast every single Sunday starting at 920, uh, between 920 and 925. Make sure to subscribe. We only do it once a week. Can you imagine if me and CEO did it Monday? No, did it. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday? Would anybody care? Oh, I missed Monday. I'll just watch the Wednesday version of uh, Unfiltered Sport Podcast. Oh, I missed Wednesday. I'll watch it Friday. If not Friday, I'll watch it Sunday. Everybody watches. Everybody has a good time on the pod because we only do it once a week. Month. This oversaturation of ESPN is beyond horrible. 
already took a massive dump all over Prime. But at least Prime, no, Prime is twice a week because it's uh what is it? Um it's Thursday and uh it's Thursday and Friday. Now they just don't care anymore. This is the third, the third time. There's a third. <laughs> this is the third time that there's been a doubleheader. Let's just look at the week. So we're in week six, right? So week eight, we just got Pittsburgh and New York. Oh, that's a great matchup too. And also, just these matchups, the Giants and Pittsburgh, who wants to watch that? Like, come on, man. Tampa Bay at Kansas City. So is this the last doubleheader throughout the – no. Uh, we get – oh, here's a good one. So we get the Bears at Minnesota, which should be a good matchup, and the Falcons at Vegas. Oh, boy, are, are we in group for a good treat. So the last doubleheader – is week 15. Like, come on, bro. Are we serious right now with these double headers? Like, I- I'm so done with the double headers. And not only that, you have Troy Aikman and Joe Buck calling that as well, too. Can you at least have the Manning brothers out there? I mean, I know Belichick is boring as hell to listen to, but at the same time, stop with the double headers, bro. Stop. <laughs> it sucks. It's so, b- I can't be the only one that thinks this. And I can't be the only one that's not watching the Chargers and the Cardinals game. I'm sorry. Shout out to my boy TRL, uh, awesome kid. I don't know if they're watching or not, but uh, this is no disrespect towards y'all. Marvin Harrison is one of my favorite players in college football. Bit Kyler, one of my favorite players in college football. Boomer Sooner, you know what I'm saying? So we got to stop with the college, the double headers, bro. It is beyond horrible how they're bad, and it just sucks. Just the principle of it. Oversaturation, bro. And I probably need to make a video about the NFL being oversaturated. So this is a pre- so this is a part two on why Monday Night Football sucks. And this is a this is a you know a part one of why the NFL and the oversaturation sucks. And why all you queers who sat here and said uh, and, and not the side note, you know, because I got time. I think it was Brandon and a few other people talking about me and CEO were talking about how the NFL is getting so oversaturated, how the NFL has too many Monday night football games. They have too many Thursday night. They have too many Thursday night, Friday night. It's beyond horrible. And people are like, well, more football is better football. Me and CEO were trying to explain to you, I think at least a year, maybe two years ago. No, it's not good. It sucks. And we see it now. And we see it now. Is what it is. That's my thoughts. What are yours? RJL.